Hello! Today I'm here with this week's Will I Buy It? And this is week number six. So, yeah. I don't think it's so much this week that I will talk about. I don't know if it's me or if it's the makeup world. Um, and I have been busy this week. I have worked a lot and... Uh, I've trained, start training again, and it doesn't feel like I have time to do stuff. I haven't looked on YouTube like much this week, maybe one video per day, and usually I can l look at YouTube for like two, three hours a day, so it doesn't feel like I'm on it this week, if you can say it like that. But I have picked out some things that I'm going to talk about. Um, I will start with a couple of things that I already talked about earlier weeks, but products that now are available. And we can start with Urban Decay, the Naked Cherry palette and the Naked Cherry... Was it lipsticks? Two eye pens? Blush and highlight palette? Blush palette? Um, they are available now at UrbanDecay.com. I don't think they have come to Sweden yet, but they are available. The Full Fusion palette from Blush Tribe. The pre-order is open and I bought that one. <laughs> so it will come a video on that palette. So that's available and also the Divinity palette, Divinity palette from Strobe Cosmetics is open for pre-orders. I think it will take two weeks, two more weeks, then it, then you can buy it. Um, it's, they start to sell again and it's not only pre-orders. So that's three things I have talked about before that are now available. So now just hop into this week's new stuff and I need to slow it down. Okay, now into this week's news. And I will start with a skincare thing. One of my favorite skincare brands is Lumena. It's a Finnish brand. It's really big in Sweden. It's a fantastic brand. I love them. They are releasing... Oh, I have to scooch! I always forget that. Okay, Lumena. They are coming out with new skincare. Nordic Ageless Aeton. Aeton. I'm not Finnish, so that's a Finnish word. And they are coming out with new skincare series. And I think I'm going to buy this when my skincare I use now is finished. Then I would love to buy these um, because, yeah. The day cream has SPF 30 and I need that for my pale as skin. So these I will buy when my skincare I have now is empty. So yes, I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, that was all the skincare for today. Okay, we can talk about... Boop, 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 boop. Um, Juvia's Place is releasing two new things or four new things um, they are releasing the tribe collection and this is two highlighters and one eyeshadow palette they just released the packaging not what's inside and I hope that the highlighters are at least one of them are for lighter skin the highlighters they have released are for more medium and deep complexion, not for light, and I'm totally fine with that. Uh, but I hope this is one for our pale skins. Like for me, I would love to try a highlight for Juvia's because the eyeshadow palettes are amazing. And I really, really want to try one of their highlighters, but they don't have any highlighter that is light enough for me. So I hope one of these are. And they are also releasing Warrior 2 palette. I buy my Juvia Place palettes from Beauty Bay and the Warrior palette has not come to Beauty Bay yet. I don't know if it's ever going to come to Beauty Bay, but this is the Warrior 2 
and the Warrior one, the Warrior palette. I think there is their most natural palette. And if I'm going to buy a na neutral, natural, neutral palette, I could really buy one from US Place because they are amazing with everything they do. Their shadows are perfect in my opinion. So this Warrior 2, I think it maybe is going to be a neutral palette again. And I'm excited for this. I was excited by the Warrior palette. I was thinking about buying it, but it has not come to Beauty Bay yet, so I haven't. Anastasia Beverly Hills is releasing their holiday palette and it's the Sultry palette. And they have now released their first palette like this without this velour packaging. Now it's a glittery, glittery, glittery packaging. I don't know about this palette. Some of the colors I think it's really, really, really nice. Haven't I print screened a picture of this? What's up with me? You see I'm not prepared. I don't know what I think about this. The one thing I think is so boring, they put another black in this palette, the noir. It feels like that is in every freaking palette they released. <laughs> and I just like switch it out for something else, something more fun. But this palette, it's very shimmering, glittery, and I don't know. I like the swatches, and I love the, I don't know if it's orange or red or what it is, because it looks different in all the swatches I have seen, but it's the bloom shade. I would buy this. If the Bloom shade is coming out in a single pan, I will buy it. But I don't know about this palette. It feels very... The color seems very similar. And I have understand if they release this palette as a new palette, but this is their holiday palette. It's a nice palette, but I would want something more than this. I think this is... It's a nice palette, but for a holiday palette, I would want something more. And I would want more of the Bloom shade, something like the Bloom shade and more of that, because it's the Bloom and then all the other colors. Bloom and all the other... I, I don't know what I think, and I think it's... Yeah, I can't make up my mind because I don't know what I think about this palette. I think it's nice, but then I don't think it's nice. So I frankly don't know if I want to get it or if I don't want to get it. And Anastasia is also releasing something more. They are releasing, I think it was 80 new glitters. And I like glitters, but I don't do glitters. <laughs> because it's I always mess, this, mess that up. So I don't use it, but I like it, but I'm not going to buy um, because I don't like loose glitters. And they are also releasing metallic lipsticks. I think it's, yeah, it's the holiday collection as well. I think the red one is nice because it doesn't look that metallic, but the other two, no. I don't know what I think about metallic lips lipsticks because they show everything on your lips every little wrinkle every dry patch it shows it shows it shows everything every imperfection you have you're gonna see it but i think the red color is really really nice and i think you can get away with this one but the other two not for me and yeah oh yeah um, Colourpop is releasing a new collection. It feels like they're releasing a collection every week. And this week it's the Disney collection. I think the eyeshadow palette is 
nothing special. It looks like an eyeshadow palette they already have. If I didn't know that this was a new collection, I think I thought it was uh, one of their old palettes, if I'm going to be honest. And I don't know why they have Ariel and the Little Mermaid. And why isn't there a blue shade in this palette? And also, I think Jasmine from Aladdin. Aladdin? 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 Could go, go as a blue shade as well. Um, yeah. But they are also releasing lipsticks. And they look like normal pretty lipsticks. Nothing special with that. And they're releasing ultra glossy lip no but then they are releasing new super shock shadows and here the one for little mermaid it's turquoise it's green and i think that shade is really really pretty i start to like green more and more i think that shade is really really pretty and i think they should have do something like that in the palette that would be fun. And What the Wild are releasing a mega glow for your body. And this was very popular this summer with glow products. I think Fenty Beauty was releasing. What was it called? Lava something? Lava Bomb? I think. I like it. Not that super 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 glowy but a little bit here on your shoulder. I think it's nice. And I love my face highlighter from Wet n Wild. So maybe if these are still around the next summer I think I maybe will buy one. If one of them will suit my pale skin because I'm this pale all, all over. I'm a super pale girl, so if they are light enough for me, I think I will buy one of these, but for the summer, not for now, because it's starting to get cold in Sweden. And I have shirts on old. Okay, I don't go naked on summer, but I think you know what I mean. Too Faced are releasing one more holiday palette, and this is the Pumpkin Spiced palette. I think that this is their um, holiday, Halloween holiday, not the Christmas holiday. And they are releasing an eyeshadow palette, a mascara. I don't know if it's, yeah, it's, no, it's their old new mascaras. Um, and Pumpkin Spice Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. And Teddy Bear Hair Eyeshadow Brush. I'm not that into Too Faced and I have never been. And I think their eyeshadow palettes look like the same, all of them. It's like when they're doing a new palette, they take some shadows from all the other palettes they have and put them in new surroundings with new shadows and like, oh, here are our new eyeshadow palette. And I'm just like, if I didn't know, I think I've, I would thought that this is one of your old palettes, so I'm not going to buy this one. Okay, Sueva is releasing a new collection again. And this is their holiday collection. It's a little bit the same with the Too Faced. I think Sueva's palette looks the same. And I think they look a little bit boring most of them they only changed the packaging they have nice shadows but it, it looks like something they already have so I'm not going to buy this one either and then we can talk about Isadora it's a Swedish brand it's a really good makeup brand not a lot of people talk about them but they are really good and they have released Lip Booster, a Volume Gloss and Hydration. And I think I want one of them. 
I don't usually do like plumping things to my lips because I'm totally fine with my lip size the size of my lips but I think I want to try one of these but I don't know. I have heard good things about them and I love Visadora so I maybe will and I maybe won't. Okay, should we take a last... okay, two last things. Uh, Fenty Beauty is releasing new lip paints. I don't know if it's one shade or if it's three shades but I only think it's one shade. And I would really love, like, <laughs> to test one of Fenty's lip what are they called lip paint because everybody I heard say they are amazing but I don't know I think the packaging is cool but it seems a little bit I don't know what I think when the lid is bigger than the container the lid, yeah um, and I don't know this color I I want to like brown lips but I don't think it suits me that good so I don't know but I think it's a nice color but I don't think it sh would suit me it's too brown for me I think it would look a little bit strange okay and the last thing now I have rambling okay I don't know how to pronounce this makeup brand I think it's Menagerie 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 Okay, I butchered it, that word. Um, I can write it here. Oh, now the sun is out again. And for a long, long, long time ago, they sneaked peek their upcoming feral eyeshadow palette. And I <laughs> like the eyes outside of the palette. And now they have released three out of 12 colors. And I like the three colors they have revealed, but I hate when brands do this. I hate it. I think they are releasing maybe, yeah, one color a day. And then we have to wait like two weeks for you to just show us the palette and... I think they're just dragging it out and I don't like this. I get tired of it. Just release the freaking palette. You have sneaked peek the outside in August and it's going to take two months before we see the whole palette I don't like when brands do that strobe did the same why why do you want to drag it out so freaking long I just hate it I hate it hate it hate it I just want to wait like two weeks when they have released all the shadows and then make up my mind but now I'm just oh yeah one more shade oh one more shade but I think if it's continuing like this I think I will buy it but I don't know I just hate this dragging it out and oh, yeah I'm getting sick of it that's my opinion Maybe you like when brands do this. I hate this. Okay, that was all I was going to talk about in this video. I excuse my all over the place. Mm. Um, but yeah, this was this week's Will I Buy It? I don't know if I have come somewhere with this video or, or what's happened with this video. But I hope you liked it. And I will see you in my next video and if you are not subscribing, please do so you don't miss any one of my videos. And also if you like this video, please press thumbs up or press like. So I know I try to upload these videos every Sunday and talk about some of the new makeup releases and what I think. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.